all right guys so for this one I'm gonna be uh, taking off the spoiler and then I'm gonna be taking off the rear mud flaps and the front mud flaps and yeah the other day I polished the car and it looks uh, pretty good it's super smooth and everything this side as well I polished out the scratches and um, they're a lot less noticeable so like right there you would be able to see them let me see let's focus so like right there you would be able to see it but now you don't unless you go like super close and there they are but the paint is completely clear and there's a lot of depth to the paint now so um i also got the front and the door all i need to do is a hood both bumpers and the hatch but yeah the reason why i'm taking off the bumper because it just i mean uh the spoiler it just looks pretty bad i don't like the how low it is and just the shape of it the overhang right here and the mounts and the mounting points and just the overall look it's really not my thing so i'm gonna be taking this off and for now i'm gonna get like a, those little lips from the um the a spec and also i'm gonna be taking off the rear wiper because it's like the rsx had clean lines all new um curves nice beautiful sharp lines and the gaps are just perfect for the acura lineup just the uh, modern integra right here no gaps like the integra just everything was just modernized and then bam they just put that right there so does this really match this it just looks uh, out of place so I'm gonna put the uh, plug and uh, recondition and refurbish I should say this uh, window just make it real nice and polish it because there's a lot of uh, debris and like kind of like overspray maybe on it and yeah so that's gone this gone and that's gone so let's get busy all right guys so Got you guys up on the tripod. Yeah, so look how rusty that is. Ah, looks like rust is just falling out of this. All right, so I'm gonna get the other side and then now uh, let's pull it off. All right guys, so finally got uh, two nuts and two bolts out. All right, so let's check it out. Definitely full of contamination. Feels like sandpaper. I'm not gonna really rub this into the paint, but. So yeah, you could see the difference between this and that. But yeah so I'm gonna uh, clean this up right now real quick and I see some rust right there 
but yeah but that's all good right there all right so i'm gonna clean it up with some uh soap and water in a rag and i'll probably just throw a little bit of wax on there just to give me a little bit of shine and then i'm gonna go for a, a paint correction on this but definitely not today but yeah so next up is gonna be the mud flaps okay so the mud flaps are definitely gone so let's pull those off now and um get this thing looking right kind of sucks because i don't have a small enough screwdriver i can't find my little uh stubby screwdriver so i'm going to use this one this is basically a socket this a 3 8 drive right there with the screwdriver and what you use this for is for the uh, caliper uh, for the rotor screws and this works perfect with this head I don't know if that's gonna show up but yeah but I'm gonna end up uh, using it for this by hand and there it is so I'm gonna get the rest of them off and then pull this off perfect got that out if this was an old-school car then it would be uh, a lot cooler looking but for, not for this car so I have all these little extra screws and these are good to keep around very handy but yeah I think my bumper needs these too so so now let me uh, pull off all the other ones and let's see how this thing looks all right guys so slowly but surely it's getting there that definitely looks cleaner right there. It doesn't look like an old 90s wing. Mud flap gone. Over here too. Gone right there. And yeah, so it's getting there. Next up, I'm going to get this one and on the other side. All right, guys, so there it is. No more mud flaps. No more spoiler. That looks so much cleaner. Besides the little rust holes, um, I'm just probably just gonna have to do a little touch-up paint and plug them, put out rubber plugs. And you could already tell that it's cleaner, but that compared to this is like this is just pretty bad so I'm gonna redo this whole hatch right here these emblems are looking a little faded and I try to clean clean them up and they're really not coming back so I'll probably end up replacing them in time but yeah so right there and now it's just a uh, monster truck with all that wheel gap but it's all good we're gonna um eventually get some coilovers right there and then right there so much more cleaner but yeah but yeah guys so that's gonna be it for this one if you guys want to see more of these little videos just uh, like subscribe and comment let me know what you think and I'm also gonna be taking this off but uh at another time because i got to take off the paneling and then like disconnect the motor take the motor out get a plug for it but yeah so i'll do that um eventually but this is gonna uh go away all right guys i'll see you guys on the next one